Hey Capricorn, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water tarot or touch by key tarot depending on which channel you're watching this video on. This reading is going to be for the sign of Capricorns, the beautiful abundantly devils you, okay, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, as well as the Capricorn cross watcher, meaning if you're watching this video because you're having a relationship with the Capricorn, it could resonate from your perspective, okay. Feel free to flip it and reverse it how it goes. Because it's energy, everything I say won't resonate for every last single one of you, and that's okay. Parts of the read will, uh, may resonate, others may not. Keep what resonates for you. Release the rest back into the universe, okay? If I get it right for you, Capricorns, take care of your girl with the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. And if you guys are interested in booking me for a private reading, my email address is for the love of water tarot at gmail.com. It's also provided in the description box below the video. Now, Capricorn, I went ahead and took it upon myself to lay some cards out. I shuffled everything. I meditated. I laid them out in order to get straight into the read to try to save us some time. And I feel like this is you that I'm speaking to. But again, this could be someone else. Just put it where it goes. There's something here that someone is trying to get the facts about, right? This, it's, it's screenshots here, but I just feel like it's evidence. I feel like it's something that you're trying to gather, gather evidence and, and concerning and figure out. Because I have moving and jackpot. You could be dealing with a Cancerian or, or a Sagittarius. But I do feel like there's some there's a situation here where someone is definitely getting the evidence, trying to gather proof, trying to make sure that they know all the facts because there is some big move coming up here. Something about a move, right? I do feel like something will be moving in the right direction with moving and jackpot because it feels like jackpot. That's exactly what's supposed to be happening here, right? But I do feel like this could be you being very cautious about trying to make sure you understand everything before some sort of move is made, right? This is what it feels like. Someone making sure that they got all the evidence, all the proof, all the facts before they make some sort of move. And I do feel like it's the right thing to do because jackpot is the will of fortune, right? This is winning money, win, uh, winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money, but it just feels like you're right on the money, right? That's the right move, right? Now, I have... Fate, which is another card of Sagittarius here, right? This is fortune. This is the wheel of fortune. This is karma. This is cycles. This is divine intervention and divine detours. It's like it's all predestined and pre-fated. It's, some, it's something working out in your favor, even if it's a divine intervention or a divine detour, right? But I do feel like the, your for, fortune is going in the right direction. We have the sun and guarded. It could be you could literally be dealing with the Leo. There could be literally something about a son. Sometimes it's just that your son, your child, S-O-N, but it's strength. It's empowerment. Heart chakra open and compassion, happiness, truth revealed. And then we have guarded. Something, what's making you feel guarded? Vulnerable. Holding pattern. Security at all costs. Four pinnacles. Block heart chakra. And then we have poison, which is your card. Toxic, unhealthy behaviors or people. So Capricorn, I feel like there is definitely something that is... I do feel like there's something about you gathering your strength and definitely feeling very empowered, but also very guarded. Maybe you are guarding something here from toxic, unhealthy behaviors and people because you definitely you may be feeling like you may need to guard and protect yourself because you could feel vulnerable. Next, I have judgment and confusion. You could be dealing with a um, Scorpio or Sagittarius again. This is wide open, wake up call, a life review. And then we have confusion. Puzzled, unsettled, unclear. I do feel like this is you. We do have desire, lust, or se sexual chemistry here. And then lust is under the, under here again. Intensity, sexual, ener energy, non-committal. Some of you may be trying to figure out, right, if something that you're dealing with, if it's not just very lusty and non-committal, you could be dealing with the Knight of Wands energy, right? You may be trying to make an ultimate, uh, yeah. Uh, Capricorn, I also feel like there could be someone's behavior that confuses you. Mm -hmm. I feel like you are very puzzled or you feel unsettled or unclear about someone's intentions, right? If they're not committal, right? Or if they're the night of wands, if they're all over the place, hot and cold, in and out. I feel like there is a decision that you want to make about something, but you want to do it with your eyes wide open. I feel like that's you right now. You've had some sort of wake-up call in your entire life. I feel like there's something about you right now doing a complete life review and some of you are doing a life review trying to figure out how did i get here right how did i get here how did i get to this point and it doesn't always it doesn't feel necessarily bad right for sure but i do feel like how did i get here now next i have 
waiting and analyzing. I feel like this is what you're doing. I feel like with, 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 it was clarified with the offer on the table. I feel like Capricorn, you're waiting and analyzing something, but I feel like you feel like you can't make a um, definitive decision or a definitive judgment call until the offer comes on the table. And underneath the deck, I have telepathic communication and music. You could be communicating with somebody telepathic, telepathically for real. Mm -hmm. There is there is some telepathic communication where there's something about someone's name or a date or a reminder about someone. There's some telepathic communication that's happening here. And it could be through music as well. There's, there's something about an offer that's being put on the table. I feel like this is you that's going to wait and analyze this. Because it's something that makes you feel guarded about something. Now, I do see the Wheel of Fortune, which is definitely... Good things coming in. And the sun and strength is like the sun. This is like a blessing, illumination. But you are guarded as hell. I feel like you could definitely be guarded. You could definitely be feeling right now you are vulnerable. So you're feeling guarded because it's something about toxic, unhealthy behaviors or people. I feel like there's decisions that you're trying to make. You're trying to you want to make sure that you're moving in the right direction. So that's why you're waiting. Last but not least, I have the confession. Wants to come clean, right wrongs, exposing the truth that all, all that's hidden, expressing heartfelt feelings and emotions, and we have truth. So listen, there is some sort of the truth is coming out. The truth is the truth is here. I just heard the truth will set you free, Capricorn. And with legal here, that's justice. It could literally be the truth setting someone free. But I do feel like this is a, this is I don't know if this is you confessing the whole heart of truth or if this is a confession coming towards you. But there's justice. This is something that's definitely going to work out. In your favor, Kathy. But I feel like it's something about you can't analyze an offer until it's actually on the table. And that's why you feel like something is, un is, is unsettled or unclear. Something is not clear to you yet. So you are guarded until it's made clear. But I can, but I can tell you what, Capricorn, something, this, this will be made clear to you. With the confession, truth, and, and legal, every, and this is going to be made clear. Now, this could definitely be dealing with the court, with co court paperwork or something filed I do feel like with trash under there I feel like this is you there's going to be some things that you're going to discard and throw out like for real but I do feel like the truth is here like like you like all everything will be revealed to you for sure I see it you, you know the truth and if you're like and if this is a confession if this is literally somebody confessing like they, they're going to speak the truth justice they're going to tell you the truth just with, with legal here hmm Let's get some clarification on this with Tarot Caps. Again, take care of your girl with the like, comment, subscribe, share. Email me if you're interested in booking me for a private reading at for the love of water tarot at gmail.com. If you can't do nothing else, if it's resonating, go throw your girl the like button. Okay? I'm definitely trying to um raise a subscriber count on my second channel because I, I firmly believe my first channel was in the algorithm is strictly a Pisces channel. So doing reads for the other signs don't really I, I feel like I could have a better chance of spiking the other one than trying to get the other readers. But this may definitely be on both channels. Please subscribe to both, please. And thank you. Okay, let me see what I can get on these energies for you, Kathy. Because I do feel like you're feeling strong. I feel like you're gathering your strength. You are feeling empowered. There's something about your heart chakra is opening. And you are feeling compassionate and happy. You, the some, truth revealed is on here, too. I feel like... Uh, Capricorn, until something becomes very clear, you feel very guarded and vulnerable. Okay, and I do also feel like you are you like you you holding some stresses to yourself and to everything. But the will of fortune is here. It's here. So let's get some let's get some tarot on this. Spirit, clarify these energies for me. You could be dealing with the Leo, fellow Capricorn, Sagittarius. There it is again. Sagittarius with you, the Queen of Pen Pentacles here. Temperance and the Queen of Pentacles. So that whatever is happening here, for, for sure, I feel like for some of you, something very significant is happening in Sagittarius season. So be aware of that. Some of you are Sagittarius cuspers. Okay? But um, this Queen of Pentacles is you. And the Queen of Pentacles is definitely she who nurtures the coin, right? This is a wife, a mother, masculine, feminine, put it where it goes. But this is definitely someone who keeps home, balance the books, right? This is she who holds the coin, right? And she's proud. This is a, yeah, this is an energy of pride. Yeah, pride in that shit, Capricorn. And temperance is patience and divine timing, but it could also be reunion and reconciliation. So there could definitely be someone who 
wants to reconcile with you, right? Who wants to speak the truth, who wants to open up your heart, your heart chakra. But I feel like if this is someone who's wanting to open up your heart chakra, it's going to take time with temperance. They know that this is going to take time because you're guarded. For sure. If this is someone that is wanting to make up with you, it's going to take time because you're guarded. I do feel like you are guarding your heart right now and being patient with yourself. But look, Ace, look at the Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you, there's definitely, as far as abundance, I feel like there's some big changes for you coming in Sagittarius season. I feel like there, like it, it could be something that was a long time coming, some things that you had to wait on and be patient. But I feel like everything is going to reconcile itself very soon. And I do feel like with this Ace of Pentacles, this is an opportunity. This is being handed to you, a gift from the divine. Right, a seed, a seed, a, a, seed, a very abundant seed that can be planted and that can grow. Yeah, the three of cups this is going to be something that you're going to celebrate here. So let's see. I feel like Capricorn. A couple things I'm getting is with this judgment and a confu and a confusion. I feel like there is a, a wake up call or decision or judgment that you feel like you. You, I feel like you're in a life review right now because so, yeah, something is giving you a wake up call, and I feel like you're in a full on life review. But there's still some things that may be having you puzzled, that you're unsettled about, or very unclear. And I do feel like if it's not literally just lust, if you're literally just trying to figure out if somebody is just lusty and not com committal, or if there, or something is just like the Knight of Wands, if it's like like if, like if something is just kind of reckless or impulsive, or if, if you're dealing with an energy that's like um. In and out, here and gone. It could even be dealing with some. You could even be puzzled by somebody's uh, behavior if it's like unsettling because like they're going ham, right? For sure. For sure. Like let's see. Let's say you saw somebody act a fool, and now you're not so sure if you want to open up your heart chakra. Like you could have thought that somebody had some sort of toxic, unhealthy behavior or something like that. And it could be why you're guarded about opening up your heart to an energy. Give me some for this energy here for Capricorn. What's this about here? What's this judgment? It's something that has you unsettled so you feel like you can't make a, a, a fully informed decision. The Wheel of Fortune again. There go that Sagittarius energy again. This is what I'm telling you. I'm feeling like whatever the heck this is, it's all going to be clear. This is going to be all clear soon. This will be very clear. There's getting ready to be a change. And I, I don't know why Sagittarius is popping up, but Google it. Cherry, see? This is that movement. Look, now here's the chariot. Here's the here's moving and the jackpot energy, which I already had. I told you. You could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Sag. This is that same energy. This is Cancerian and Sagittarius energy for me. So I do feel like whatever is happening here, like the days of you being unclear or confused about something or being puzzled or unsettled about something with some behavior or someone's behavior or whatever it is, it's getting ready to be all clear. And I do feel like this is why the chariot energy is here because you're going to be able to move forward. This is like once I know, once I see it clearly, once I know it clearly, like once my eyes are wide open. I could, I, I, like, no matter how I move, I already won, right? It's like, yeah, I already won because now I can move forward victoriously, successfully, and triumphantly. You have the Ten of Pentacles. It could definitely be dealing with your home, your land, your property, your money, your family, for sure. So let's get some for this waiting and analyzing with the offer on the table because I do feel like there's a telepathic thing happening right now. So this is not something that's being spoken right now. There could be telepathic communication. There could be something about music. There's also a name, a date, and a reminder here. But I also feel like this is you waiting and analyzing. Off. It's like you can't analyze the offer until it's put on the table. And I feel like it's not clear to you right now. That's why you like you're unsettled. Maybe you're just unsettled waiting on some sort of communication here. For sure. Maybe some of you are ready to make some sort of move. Maybe you're ready to go to a new job. Right. Or you're ready to make some sort of move, but not until this offer is here and you can analyze the offer. Can you decide what you want to do? So let's get some for this for Kathy. What is this about here? When this offer do, 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 when this offer comes in, because there's gonna be an offer put on the table to you, Kathy, you are gonna analyze the hell out of this offer and you are gonna use your intuition about it. The two of wands, yep, before you make a decision. Because the two of wands is about picking a direction and going in it, right? The ace of wands is already here. So the spark, the drive, the the energy is already there for something, for sure. The Ace of Wands is already there. But the Two of Wands is the next step. Like, which direction am I going in? You see the globe. You see the van. She has the wand. She's going to make a move, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Five of Swords. I feel like this is definitely you. First of all, it could be stressful waiting. It could be stressful waiting, like, for sure. 
But I also feel like this is you analyzing this shit. Yep, seven of cups. I'm telling you, you're going to figure this out. You're going to analyze. Give me one more on this. The page of pentacles. There's that offer. The nine of wands. I feel like you're going to try to decide, like, with the page of pentacles and the nine of wands. First of all, for some of you, this is something that you worked your ass off for. For sure. You could have worked your ass off for this offer. For sure. I also feel like, because this could be, for some of you, it's like working overtime and shit like that. For sure. To get something. I also feel like for some, it, it, there could also be something involving a child with the page of pentacles. But I also feel like there could be plenty. But with the nine of wands, it's been quite the damn battle for this, right? For sure. The moon and emotions are at an all-time high. You could be dealing with a water sign or a Leo. There's a lot of majors under here, though. Oh, yeah, Cappy, you got a lot of majors under here. You got the moon. You got strength. You got the star. So you got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo energy, Aquarius, Gemini energy, Pisces again. And then we have you, the emperor. Something about the final decision being yours. For sure, the double. Yep, the final decision is yours. For sure. And also, Kathy, for some of you, this is about work. I see it. I do see this could definitely be involving work. You could have been working your fingers to the bone for something. So let's see. Because at the end of the day, Capricorn, I see that the truth will be revealed. There's a confession and there's truth. So someone is going to speak with honesty. And what's hidden will come to light. All will be revealed. And I feel like with justice, then you're going to know what the right thing to do is because you're going to make sure that you do, by, do right by yourself. Give me some for this. I don't know. Somebody could be confessing to something too legally. There could be a confession, literally. I don't know why I'm getting at it. Open court or something. Give me some for this. Capricorn. What's this about? There, the truth will be revealed. All is going to come out. What's done in the dark will definitely come to the light. The four swords. See, that's, that way you can, that, that way, I feel like this, this truth is going to bring you in healing. There could definitely be somebody confessing, right, that they weren't right, that they're getting some sort of karma they didn't do right by you and want to heal something with you, the tower. I also feel like there's going to be some sort of truth coming in while you're sleeping. There's going to, there could be a communication coming in that's going to wake you up out of your sleep. It's going to surprise you. The truth may surprise you. That's what I heard. The truth will surprise you. Give me one more. For Capricorn for this week. This week. Uh, this week. Please. One more for Cappy. The two of pentacles, you're going to have a decision to make when the truth comes in. And I do feel like you're going to take your time. You're going to wait and you're going to analyze an offer that is coming in on the table. You're going to weigh it out. But in, in, inevitably with the ten of wands, whatever decision you make, you're going to make the decision that's right for you. Because the ten of wands is definitely getting out of an oppressed situation. You're, going to, you're no longer going to feel so oppressed once you have the truth and clarity you need about a situation. Eight of pentacles, there you go. Because then your ass is working in. Yeah, and there's that judgment. What's on the judgment under here? The three of wands. See, you're waiting before you make this judgment and you take this leap. There's something about children and family and holding them near and dear to you, for sure. I see that. If that means anything to you. Give me one more for Kathy. That flip right on out. I think it's the six of swords. No, it's the nine of swords. So this has been stressing you out. But the four wands, it's definitely something about a union or a partnership. Here you are, the empress. Yep, the chariot, the ten of pentacles. Hell yeah. And the six of wands. So listen. Yep, and you're going to receive. I see you receiving. Cappy, it looks like there's a, there, there is a, there's a, the truth or a confession that's coming out that will allow you to heal. I see you. I feel like it's a shit that's been stressing you out, keeping you up at night, some sleepless nights. But after this comes in with the Two of Pentacles, you're going to weigh things out. You're going to have some decisions to make. The Four of Wands and the Empress, there's definitely someone here that has no lack of energy wanting to collaborate, work, co-create with her. The Chariot is about forward movement. Again, some of you may be definitely moving, changing jobs, traveling, buying a home, I'm hearing. This could also be like a new job, getting a promotion, victory, success. But I see you celebrating with the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, I see you celebrating, getting victory and success, getting the acknowledgement, and I also see you receiving. But with the Three of Swords and the Page of Swords, you've been through some ish here, for sure. And I feel like that's why you are doing this life review. Because you could definitely be confused as to how you got to where you are. But what I, got, what I do know for sure is that things are getting ready to change. Something is getting ready to move forward, and it's going to move forward in your favor with the moving and jackpot. Something is definitely going... Fortune favors you 
very, very soon. Okay, Capricorn? I love you guys. If I got it right for you, make sure you take care of your girl with a like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're interested in booking me, please email me at for the love of water tarot at gmail.com. You guys stay beautiful, you stay blessed, and you stay high vibing. And I have messages for you again. Bye, Cappies.